What's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to successfully activate your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for your vehicle. What you will need is a tool such as this and to make sure that you have a qualifying vehicle as, as per the description. It needs to be a certain make, a certain model and a certain year. All that information will be in the description, so please make sure to read that out carefully uh, before contacting for any inquiries relating to this tool. I will now run through the steps that are required to activate these options. Before we actually activate it, I'm just going to demonstrate exactly what you need to do. So you might want to write a note down or write down these instructions carefully, uh, or you can pause the video as you go along. So first thing we need to do is we need to locate the uh, o OBD port, which is normally located under the steering wheel, uh, just right above uh, the gas pedal right there. Um, we won't be able to see this, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and pause the video just for now and use flashlight to demonstrate exactly where that. Uh, that port is located. Okay, as I mentioned previously, the OBD port is located right above the gas pedal. As we can see, it's right here. There's a protective latch on it, which you'll need to pull down in order to access it. So just pull it down like that, and you'll see that hanging off. And here is where you'll be inserting the tool. Okay, so before we insert the tool into the OBD port, as I mentioned previously, we need to make sure that the vehicle is not switched on whatsoever so that the uh, engine is not running at all. But you need to have the car um, in ignition mode, ignition mode 2. Uh, so to demonstrate that, we'll be doing it with keyless start here, and then I'll demonstrate with the um, without the keyless start. So with the keyless start, you need to tap the, the key one time and you will see that the ignition mode switches on and then you print and this will uh, switch on all the electrics as we can see now um, to do this with without the keyless well you need what you'll need to do is you'll need to insert the key in here and 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 turn it once so that'll be uh, the first ignition mode and then turn it again so that's in second ignition mode and you need to make sure that you do not switch on the engine whatsoever doing this um, whilst whilst doing this, uh, the next step is to actually insert the tool into the um, OBD port, as I mentioned previously. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. But to do that, I think I'm going to open up the uh, the door and access this from outside. It's a lot easier. So I'm just going to pause the video here for a second. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and insert the tool um, into um, OBD port, as I previously demonstrated. Just need to figure out. How this goes in. Okay, so that's inserted now, and you'll see on the screen in a second it should say this uh, D I A G, and then the head unit will uh, attempt to restart. So, as we can see now, it's restarted. Uh, let it restart once it's back up. What we can do is remove the tool from uh, the o OBD port. So it's safe to remove this tool now, and you can put the latch back on it to secure it. Okay, latch is back on. And what we're going to do now is we'll be plugging um, an iPhone using an original uh, iPhone cable provided by Apple. Uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, so before we plug the cable into the iPhone to activate Apple CarPlay, what we're going to do is we're going to switch off the head unit and restart it one time. So just press the power button here and the head unit is now completely switched off. And press the power button again to switch on the head unit just, just to give it that reboot, the restart after attempting this, um, uh, after attempting to uh, unlock those two features. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug um, iPhone cable into an iPhone here and then that should take us directly um, over to Apple CarPlay. It's difficult with one hand operation. Let's attempt that. Okay. We should now see on the screen um, that it should 
it should pick up Apple CarPlay uh, automatically. But I think you will need to unlock the device first if, you, if your device is locked. So I'm just going to go ahead and unlock the device. Okay, and now you will see this on the screen. So it's saying a device compatible with Apple CarPlay is being connected. How do you want how do you want Apple CarPlay to start in the future? So you either choose automatically or manually. So we're going to go ahead and choose automatically. And it will then attempt to activate the device. And once it does that, uh, you should see a screen similar to this here. So you, we now have Apple CarPlay activated and we have we're able to benefit from features such as phone, music, maps, messages, uh, Mercedes, pod, a podcast, audiobooks, Deezer, Google Maps, Waze, WhatsApp. And I think there are some additional uh, apps that you're able to download, but these are the standard ones that actually come with Apple CarPlay. Um, so there you go. So, I mean, it's as simple as uh, using that tool, uh, allowing 10, uh, 10 seconds, and you need to make sure that the ignition is an ignition um, ignition point two, and then you need to restart the head unit one time, um, and then just simply plug in your iPhone uh, using an authentic uh, USB cable provided by Apple. This has also activated um, uh, Android Auto, so if you have an Android device, you'll be able to use that as well. But we need to click on uh, Tell to back out from here. Oh, that's actually we need, we need to leave this section completely. So we're just going to click on back, and then we're going to go back. I'm going to click on. Uh, I'm going to choose Mercedes here. There we go. So now we have Apple CarPlay, and we have. Let's choose the settings. Let's go back to vehicle. Okay, that's not what we want. Let's go back to radio. And in here. All right, so I think we're not able to back out from this because the handset is actually plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the handset. And now we're out of that menu. But if we come back here and we go to Tell and I click on Tell, you can Apple CarPlay. And there's also Android uh, Android Auto. So if you have an Android device, you follow the same steps. You plug it in. Um, and then it will automatically pick that up. But with Android, you need to make sure that you download Android Auto on your Android device and, and use an authentic um, Android cable provided by uh, the handset manufacturer. Um, I hope this video has been helpful. You've enjoyed it. Um, and if you have, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below with any queries you have if you, if you would like to purchase this device if you like it activated and i'll try my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible until next time peace out